Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am doing a Mexican lasagna lunch with some blue chips. Oh, that looks hot. That looks way too hot to eat. Hmm. Sir. I made this last night. It's got um, corn, jalapeno, fresh jalapeno, uh, olives, onion, um, brown rice, refried beans, and I use lasagna shells. And, um, Hmm, well, brown rice. And whatever sauce I had left over, which really wasn't a lot. I think it's a little dry. <laughs> I was going to use a microphone for this and do an ASMR, um, but the microphone that I got was a real cheap one from Ocean State, and it doesn't work naturally why it's a cheap one from Ocean State. So that means you're going to have to listen to me talk. Mm. <laughs> Okay. Mm. That's pretty good. Uh, you know, homemade is homemade. And you can't, you just can't beat homemade. Mm -mm. Also, there's some Western, um, West, West soy, um, Satan in this, so, I'm trying that too. Do have to go out? Not too far, which is good. 
It's 48 degrees here. I'm not, I'm really tired of the cold. It is really starting to wear on me emotionally. Though I'm feeling, I am feeling better every day than I did the, like two days ago. But we'll see what it's like. It was in the like low fifties in California, and I was I was just not having it. <laughs> I was just like, this is too this is too cold. I came here for like the sun, a little more sun. <laughs> I anticipated that it would be a little bit warmer, but you know what? I I was cold. I was cold in California. I was hoping just, you know, there would be just enough of a temperature difference. I did go in the swimming pool like a maniac. That was stupid. And they are trying to convince... It was a heated pool, supposedly. <laughs> At the Flamingo Resort. Well, I don't know. I agree, Reg. That was a little suspect. Off he goes. Mm -hmm. You know, it's 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 funny when I'm on the there is a little less stress when you're doing a potato hack or oh, actually a huge um, amount of stress that's relieved all I have to do is like all I do is make like my wife's lunch for the day breakfast and lunch and snack but when you're doing the potato hack at least on my end all I have to worry about is just heating up a potato, so it really makes things a lot easier. So now that I'm eating vegan, it's like, hmm, okay. What will I be making for dinner? <laughs> And usually food is not on my mind at all. It's like the secondary thing. If that. That's what's nice about doing just a potato hack. It really is. It frees up so much of the day in a way. It's kind of hard to explain. But we are really set around our rituals. You know. Like, I'm having lunch right now. I'm having lunch because I'm hungry right now. But if I wasn't hungry, I absolutely do not feel compelled to eat. And I won't. And there's nothing wrong with that. In fact, 12-hour fasts are not the end of the world. And anyone who does a real potato hack with no fats will understand that. Hunger is small. Like this this meal looks big to me. And when I first made it, I had to cut it in half. Because my genuine hunger is the size of a kiwi. So when I'm exceeding that, I can feel it. Today I'm having a really big kiwi. <laughs> So if you are 
becoming vegan, doing potato hacks, joining me in any of these meals. Good job. Good job. Get on yeah. I have a marathon in a week. Oh my god. I gotta get my greens up. I want my kale. Mmm. Maybe that's what I should do. Maybe I should stop by uh, the market and get some kale. That'll start really changing my energy levels. It usually does. Big time. I'm not gonna eat that part. It's not very appetizing, so I'll eat this one. What? <laughs> that was so uncool. See ya.